The Pistons won 17 games last season in hopes of winning the lottery again. That didn't happen, so the rebuild goes on with the pieces they have in place. Greg Kelser talked with Gina Troutman about what's to come for this team. What is your impression so far of this next chapter of the Pistons? Well, I think the Pistons uh, will now really shift to trying to win as many basketball games as possible. Obviously, when the when the injuries occurred last year and guys could not perform, I, I think the team really tried to position themselves as best they could, maybe land that number one draft pick. And now I think the, the time has is, is come to really just try to win as many games as you possibly can, not worrying about draft positioning anymore. Uh, make winning part of your culture. They've got a great young nucleus combined with some veterans. I think the Pistons can do very well this year. I'm optimistic. How far away do you think the Pistons are from being one of those teams? Well, here's the thing. It could happen next year. It could happen next year because we've seen it. Uh, OKC, pretty much in the same position as the Pistons a year or two ago, they got to the uh, play-in situation last year. Uh, and if the Pistons were able, would, would, would be able to do that, that would represent a significant some significant growth in their process. And I think they can do it. If they can stay healthy though, that's the big key, staying healthy. Absolutely, I was, um, when I was on Twitter and I saw Thompson held out with an, uh, an injury, get an MRI and like my heart dropped and I was like, what Thompson? And I was like, not that I'm happy, it's someone else. Yeah, but I was yeah, yeah. very thankful it wasn't yeah. a Pistons injury. Yeah, and, and you know, last year, Kate Cunningham, I thought was on his way to you know, being a terrific player, 20 points a game, seven rebounds, seven assists, but he only played 12 games. Well, he had surgery, he is fully healthy, he'll be back, he'll be stronger, more determined. I'm really excited about what he'll bring. And you add all that, Jay Nivey and Jalen Duren, that's gonna be their, I think, their big three nucleus. Um, sky's the limit.